So War Thunder is the multiplayer online game dedicated to World War II and Korean War. We launched in 2012 and we are <clears throat> updating our game all the time. So when the game was uh, launched initially, it was only about planes. It was the online flight simulation game. But a year ago, last spring, we added the ground forces, the tanks in our game. And uh, since then we released several huge updates. So right now there are uh, German, Soviet and American tanks in the game. And until the end of this year, we want to release British tanks as well. And, uh, and of course, we aren't forgetting about the air forces. So we are adding new planes in uh, each update. So like two weeks ago, we released the big guns update and we called it this way because uh, in this patch, we added uh, the biggest tank in our, in our game, the mouse, the German super heavy tank that weighed 188 ton. <laughs> And also we added the biggest plane in War Thunder, uh, it's the B-29 uh, Super Fortress, it's the American bomber and it's bigger than some you know, modern Airbus passenger <laughs> jet. So this is one, just a few examples of uh, our updates. The unique uh, features of our game are that uh, tanks and planes and other ground vehicles such as anti-air guns they are fighting in the same battles uh, on the same map and uh, also our game is cross-platform so it's uh, released on PC, PlayStation 4, uh, Mac and Linux and uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you are playing you can play with your friends like you will be playing on PC and your friends uh, <coughs> could play on P PlayStation 4. Yeah, that's very unique. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very unique and uh, this year we are going to release War Thunder on Android TV as well and we are going to support uh, Steam Machine, of course, if, if it will be released this year. <laughs> no one knows <laughs> if it will be. Uh, but anyway, we support uh, as many platforms uh, as we can. Our goal basically is to make War Thunder uh, available anywhere. Mm, like you said, the past year was was very uh, remarkable for, yeah. for the brand. Mm -hmm. And um, what are your future plans, plans in War Thunder? What are you going <coughs> to do to, you know, to make mm -hmm. the game yeah. more convenient? So we, like I said, we want to add British tanks mm -hmm. to our game because the Great Britain was one of the major uh, powers during World War II and we want to show this mm -hmm. uh, but we're also thinking about making some additional nations for air forces like Italy for example mm -hmm. we have uh, a lot of uh, Italian planes in the game already but they uh, belong to German uh, lineup right now but we are thinking about making Italy the separate nation because Italy had a lot of uh, planes during World War II and a lot of great planes mm -hmm. so maybe uh, it will become the separate nation and also we are working very hard right now on esports uh, um, part of our game. We are uh, going to make the special uh, in-game tournament system. Mm -hmm. So you will be able to join some tournaments directly in the game. There will be different you know, tiers and leagues. So if you are a beginner, you will be able to join some mm -hmm. newbie tournaments. If you are hardcore player, you can join some professional tournaments and the game will keep uh, the scores and leaderboards automatically. So there will be no need to go to some additional website. You, you will be able to see all the letters and stuff like this directly in the game. And uh, also we improve uh, the graphics engine all, all the time because we are using our own uh, engine for our games and uh, we try to improve it uh, constantly and we are adding more graphical effects and uh, uh, this year we hope to uh, make uh, the destructible um, buildings on ground forces in ground fortress battles because we have some city maps like Poland uh, map which is very popular among our, our players and in our next update, we are going to add the new city map. Uh, it will be Berlin, because uh, in May there will be the 70 years of uh, yeah. victory over Germany uh, and the end of World War II. 
So we are going to release this Berlin map and you will be able to assault the Reichstag <laughs> in your tank. And there will be the uh, aviation um, version of this map as well. Yeah, so in your opinion, is this thing to uh, make World Thunder a, you know, a regular eSport game for, mm -hmm. for this event? I don't know, we, kind we, are, of, kind of <clears throat> we are thinking about this, but first we want to uh, prepare our game for this, because right now uh, the battles in World Thunder are uh, 16 versus 16 people, and it's uh, when there is so many people playing and the battle, it's hard, you know, even if you are a very good player, mm. you still can lose because, you know, the rest of your team is, uh, are stupid. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. So we want to limit the number uh, of people for these tournament uh, battles. And we want to create some special uh, setups of planes and tanks that can be used in these battles to make it balanced because, you know, if uh, some planes or tanks are better than your enemy has, uh, it won't be fair. So we are working on, and we are working on uh, improved spectator mode. So it will be not only fun to play, but also fun to watch. So yeah. uh, our, idea is, our idea is to make it or thunder uh, a very yeah. impressive, you know, <laughs> esports uh, game because there is this problem with a lot of uh, esports games like you know StarCraft 2 or, or League of Legends. If you don't know the game, yeah, you 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 you, 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 you can't understand <laughs> what's going on on the screen. Uh, it will be easier in our case because you know everyone can understand yeah, like yeah. this plane shut down <laughs> that plane. Other, yeah. uh, but still, we want to improve it even more mm -hmm. and make it as accessible to as many people. Yeah. As Is there any reality in the game? I mean, mm -hmm. you have a joystick right yep. here. So, um, what level of reality of real actions of real? I don't know. Uh, okay, some, I see. Yeah. So, uh, the great thing about War Thunder is that we have several uh, difficulty modes. We have arcade, realistic and simulation game modes. Yeah. So, it really depends on you as a player, how experienced you are. Because if you are new mm -hmm. to the game or, or you are new to games in general, you can always use the arcade mode and you can it's you know it's only like four buttons and, and a mouse mm -hmm. and that's it. You don't need anything else. You can play. You can have fun. Uh, you can get better in the game. But then, if you become more interested in it, you can switch to realistic or simulation game modes. And in simulation mode, you really need stuff like this <laughs> and joystick here, and you have to press like 50 buttons on your keyboard. And some people loved it. Uh, yeah. So we are leaving it uh, accessible for everyone. Okay, okay. So what would you say for, for, the, for the end uh, to people that don't know uh, War Thunder or I don't know, they are in gaming, but mm -hmm. you know they are they they like other games or, or they okay. are not that into the World War Two or Korean War mm -hmm. uh, topics? What would you say to them to, to join to join the battle and to, to have fun? Well. Uh, you know, uh, our idea in the beginning was that usually flight simulation games, they are perceived as something very hardcore, very yeah. niche. And it was like this, uh, actually, uh, in this genre. But we, we wanted to change this. We wanted to show everyone that it's possible to create uh, the flight game that is realistic, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's uh, uh, accessible to as many people as possible. Yeah. And, and when these people come to our game, they see that playing, playing fly, flight games can be very fun. It, it's very fun to control your plane, to do some maneuvers, uh, and to feel like you are some ace <laughs> pilot. And uh, thanks to this, our Thunder is the most popular flight game in the world right now. We have more than 9 million players and we aren't going to stop there and <laughs> we, uh, we, are, we added the tanks already and we are thinking about uh, adding battleships as well in the future to create this you know ultimate uh, military simulation game okay uh, any anyone of professional 
uh, like a pilot, professional pilot, to play the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you you use them use them for the test of the game of the simulation of the aspect of the simulation. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the level of simulation. And what if 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 you if you you know joined if if some pilot joined the game, uh, what what were their opinion about about the well, aspect of the simulation? I see. Uh, well. Uh, we had some real pilots yeah. try Oculus Rift with our game and they were very, very impressed, really. And they said that it's, well, there are some limitations, of course, uh, but it's uh, as close, <laughs> you know, to uh, flying uh, the real plane uh, or drone. As, as it could, because, and it's, it's, and it's better than uh, some professional simula simulators for, you know, that, that are use, used for training the pilots. And, uh, you know, some of our developers are pilots themselves. Oh. They, they have the pilot's license. Mm -hmm. they, they flew this, you know, like Cessna-like planes. Yeah, yeah. So they know <laughs> this <laughs> stuff. Uh, they, they can this compare thing. and, you know, make the game Of course, better. of course. And we, we have some uh, emails uh, from our players that uh, they are the old people who used to fly the real planes mm -hmm. during the war. And one of our uh, oldest uh, players, uh, he passed away, uh, unfortunately, because he was like more than 90 years old. And he was the American pilot during the World War II. And he still played the and game. He, he, he played the game. He was the moderator of on, on our American forum. And uh, our players respected him a lot. And he liked our game. And uh, it's not... Uh, the only uh, example, we have some German pilots, some Soviet pilots uh, that are, you know, still uh, alive and they are playing our game and they are sending us yeah, the emails good. like, thank you guys for keeping this. Uh, and because, you know, we see it in w as our mission to not only to make some fun and, you know, profitable game, mm -hmm. but also we want to tell the people uh, about World War II, yeah. to educate them about uh, famous battles, famous uh, pilots and uh, heroes of the war. And, uh, yeah, we are going to do special uh, events in May when the Victory Day <coughs> comes. We are preparing the special uh, vehicles. Uh, it will be called the Weapons of Victory. Mm -hmm. So the, it will be uh, a number of special vehicles that were used by some famous uh, pilots and uh, tank drivers during the last stages of the war. And they will be used in some in-game events, mm -hmm. some contests and some uh, special packs <laughs> in our store <laughs> as well. But uh, m mostly they will be used for some special Thank events. Thank you very much. For the Thank you. And I'm impressed, really impressed about the game. You know, because <laughs> it's, it's very, it's very nice. <laughs>